Hello and welcome to Real World Projects with TypeScript 3. I am Travis Vroman, and I will be guiding you through a journey of creating projects of varying types on different platforms using TypeScript 3. Before we jump into the content of this course, I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself to you. I currently work as a lead developer on both server and client side products for video games. I've been writing code for over 20 years with over a decade of professional experience. I previously worked for a subsidiary of eBay as a software engineer, supporting a system which was responsible for tens of millions of transactions per day. I use TypeScript and C-sharp on a daily basis. In my opinion, TypeScript is one of the best things to hit JavaScript since its introduction. I am passionate about learning new things every day and writing code against new technology. You may reach me at Travis Vroman, which is my Twitter handle, or at my website, travisvroman.com. Let's move on. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to cover in this course. To begin, Section 1 will cover the creation of a simple multi-user chat application using WebSockets and Node.js. This illustrates TypeScript's use on both the server and client sides of an application. For Section 2, we will be creating a simple blog website using a combination of TypeScript and c -sharp. This will be done without the use of any libraries aside from .NET. In this section, a temporary data provider will be used in the backend. Next, in Section 3, we enhance our blog application by connecting it to a database using SQL Server. We also replace our temporary data provider with a real one, which interacts with the database. We will also perform some client-side enhancements to our blog website. In Section 4, we create a desktop application using TypeScript with Electron. The application, in this case, is a simple build tracking application, which demonstrates the ability to persist data in a desktop environment. In Section 5, we target the Android platform by creating a TypeScript application using Cordova. This application will be a simple phone book in which you may add or remove entries. This also covers testing of the application in the Android emulator. Finally, in Section 6, we have our bonus content. Here, we visit several topics which enhance the quality of code and illustrate concepts which are commonly used in the team development environment. This covers unit tests, code coverage reports, linting, and basic continuous integration using GitLab. Prerequisites for this course are being familiar with and are using a Windows 10, Mac, or Linux computer. Examples here are all shown in Windows, but most can be carried to other platforms. It also assumes basic familiarity with TypeScript, C Sharp, and SQL. In addition, it is assumed that you have a fundamental understanding of Node.js and the NPM package manager. Of course, none of these points mean anything whatsoever if you do not have a passion and willingness to learn new things. For this course, you need to have the following things installed. Visual Studio Community 2017 or better, Visual Studio Code or some other text editor, SQL Server Express 2017, Android SDK installed and configured, and Node.js and NPM installed. There are several goals of this course. The first is that you will leave with a hands-on experience developing many types of applications on various platforms using different tools. You will also learn how to implement various types of networking and client-server architectures that suit different needs. You will learn how to enhance the quality of your code by creating unit tests, generating code coverage reports, and setting up continuous integration. These important concepts are used on a daily basis in team development environments, so understanding them will also help you work better in a team. Of course, we want to have some fun along the way. Now that the road ahead is paved, let's buckle up, get in gear, and get going.